Six or five bands, in fact, with COG waiting on their last one. Marika, already Alistair, not that jungle Alistair on that uh, Snoopy. Ramus, Ken, and Shen. Remember, Snoopy, Wicked, uh, Melisan, and Lamia are in the room next door, just as Moma comes out of said room next door. So, uh, welcome back, Moma. Hey, man. So, what's going on? Pick some bands, COG versus Fnatic. So, uh, very, very interesting setup so far. All those three bands from Fnatic very much targeted at uh, Wicked yeah. and Snoopy. It's like we do always the same bands like Maokai, Alistar, it's the best junglers of Snoopy. So it's really good to bond as champions. Ah, Yellow Pete running his Cogmore again. That'd be something to see. And like, I remember a time when he, he loved it, ran it all the time. And then it kind of faded out of their lineups for a while. And now obviously bringing it back. And. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, Fnatic have taken the Jana off him, which I know Creepo loved to run that Jana alongside Cogmore, but um, it's half the reason for taking it. Creepo has one of the... I mean, TSM would argue Creepo is the strongest Jana in yeah. Europe. They seem to absolutely love Creepo's Jana play, but... Yeah, but also in general, like, Jana is now the most content, uh, contested first pick at the moment, I think. Like, we try to pick it as first as, uh, as well, because it's, like, the best support. It was always the best support, and it, it's still the best support. Like, it's still over the top, you know? Yeah, I mean, we, I spoke to Melisan and uh, Lamia earlier, and they went through how, because she's so versatile and she can be used in so many different roles, that, that she's the best support right mm -hmm. now. That's why she's banned and picked so often, so uh, soon. A little bit surprised by the, such an early Trundle pick. Normally you don't see him unless it's a counter to something else. Do you know of any reason COG are picking it so soon? I actually have no clue about this as well. Like, I didn't expect a Trundle pick at all. Like, I never saw that uh, from CLG anyway. Like, uh, do you think, like, maybe Wicked will go top Trundle? I didn't see him for some time on top with uh, Trundle. It's certainly possible. It was a, a viable thing for a while. I think they might wait and see what Fnatic pick yeah. to go against him, but it'll be interesting enough to see because it's not going to be such a great jungle pick against that Nocturne. Nocturne would uh, like be a bit more versatile, but if Fnatic have anything I mean, against a Kennen, then uh, I'm not sure Trundle would be too useful, so revealing it that early on might not be the best idea. Like However, I don't think that's COG's biggest mistake. I think COG's biggest mistake right now is giving Lamia and Melisan their Jana ash combo. Yeah, we will see, like Earlier today we were watching them with the Ash and I asked uh, Snoopy if they will ban Ash from Lamia and he said no. So let's see if Ash will do a really good job in this game. If I remember correctly, he said no we won't ban Ash, we'll ban Jana. But they haven't done yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that Froggen on R, very very scary indeed. I think there's a chance he'll buy a... I was, in fact, I was going to say do you think there's a chance he'll buy a Deathfire Grass? But we know Ari, Fro or Froggen's Ari, he loves to rush, rush an Abyssal Scepter. Yeah. I think he rushes only against like really aggressive mid laners. Uh, for example, like Leblanc or something like this. I don't. I'm not sure if he will rush it against Sushi, because I think like Froggen will feel really confident against Sushi on lane, so he will just go for another item. I think, but we'll see. Okay, we'll see how it ends up. I mean, Cyanide might make his day a complete misery and turn that around. So we'll see how it works out, but. Yeah, but um, the setup is like almost the same like before for Fnatic when they won against Alternate. Why change something that ain't broke? You can go with that one. Hmm? I said why change something that isn't broken? It'd be interesting to see if XPK runs the uh, same teleport GP as we saw him run against Alternate. Yeah, he took or, it uh, already. Yeah, he's already picked that up, so it looks very similar. I mean, Snoopy predicted it when we saw the picks going yeah. out against yeah. alternate Snoopy saw it coming straight off the bat. So, so COG, them. yeah, they may be very well prepared yeah. for this. And uh, wicked picking. So maybe up that. they will invade their jungle at the start. I think. Yeah, they. Uh, I certainly expect it. I mean, Froggen ideally won't, but if he can pick up a charm at level one and land it, it will be really strong. On top of a stun from Creepo, yeah. and then the damage output from uh, everyone else. But we'll wait and see how they play it out. They might not even need the charm. Might just get the stun off and uh, blow them up. We saw Slepper get first blooded from a face check in that last game. Mm. Well, I'm not sure if uh, CLG has the better early game setup because Morgana is always like the best for level one, and then Ash with the crit. It's like instantly dead. For a horrible moment there, I thought CLG were running an ADRE and an AP Cogmore because no. both. 
AP Koguma is making a comeback and ADRE yeah. has been around for a little while. Yeah. And the way they were sitting there, it sudden it crossed my mind, but uh, they flicked it out. Wicked running heel on uh, Wukong. Not something I've seen him do personally for a long time. I didn't, if ever. I didn't as well. Well, maybe he expect, uh, they, you know, they expect like that he will get a blue buff, so maybe it's good for the lane, I don't know. Like, Wicked always takes Ignite or Teleport, you know? Yeah, exactly. He might switch at the last second just to troll us, but it uh, oh. doesn't look like it. So, Wicked going to run Flash Heal in that top lane. It'll be very, very interesting to watch. And uh, Creeper running Exhaust, of course. They mentioned earlier how he was switching away from CV a lot more often and... Uh, snowballing the lane which of course Cogmore so so strong once you get into the late game so if you can get that snowball rolling early on in that bottom lane Cogmore is only going to get stronger so it should work out very nicely but again laning against that fanatic uh, bot lane combo Melissa and Lamia, Ash and Jana, very very scary pos prospect yeah but I think that fanatic will just try to farm all the time on bot lane because they know that um CLG has the better setup for the bot lane with Tarek and Kogma and the offensive exhaust. And they just have CV, so they will just try to farm and wait for a gank. And uh, coming back again to Kogma AP, like, it's not played played so much at the moment, but I, I really love AP Kogma, it's so good. It's just a bit hard against some APs on the lane, but later on you have so much poke and with a good setup it's really beasty. But the most people don't know this, so... It's it's uh, Epicokoma has a really good power, but it's not used so much. Yeah, I know. I spoke to a couple of guys about it. Epicokoma gets his strength from being able to poke people, of course, with that ultimate and with his slow. So if they can set up a comp that can catch him, he becomes useless. If you get yeah. a Maokai with a Shirelias, um maybe a Jana or a, a Nudia with a Shirelias, if you can get on top of him, he's completely redundant. Yeah. But if you've got a good comp that can kite well, then you'll be able to keep him alive. But as you can say, Froggen is not running MAP. He's running Ari, who's so, so mobile. And uh, providing he dodges that first snare from Suchet, and then can get well, he can get out of the ultimate with his own ultimate very, very easily. Yep. It should be a nice, easy so lane. How is actually the standing in the group? I don't uh, really know how, what's the standing from uh, Fnatic. Do you know? I don't know myself. I had Let's a... See. Uh, I think they won against Alternate, and then they lost against Logic, I think. So it's a really interesting match now for Fnatic, because if they lose, they can get out of the group already. Let's see. But, like, CLG has no match yet, so... Yeah, this is only CLG's first game. I don't want to look too deep. We'll find it towards the end of the game. But uh, we're down to our last 40 seconds on here. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure, like, Fnatic is 1-1 now. Yeah, Fnatic won their first game, that's for sure. Whether they played any others... After, I'm not sure, but... Yeah. Are you looking forward to Methys' chili con carne? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because I'm already so hungry. Yeah, <laughs> get that now. I hope there's enough for everyone and that it tastes... Looking from what we saw on the camera and things, and what's around that side, there's a lot to go, oh, so it nice. should be good. It, we could just start smelling it at the start of the last game yeah. and thinking, oh, oh, that sounds good. But... Uh, Nice big close-up of Wicked's face there. Jack is off. He's in uh, he's in his game mode now. So, you know what's funny? Like uh, before the game started, he threw a cup on the ground and it broke up. So maybe he's a bit nervous. <laughs> ah, so big tournament live in person. Someone like Wicked getting nervous. That's that's something to think about. But uh, he doesn't actually look too active at the moment, which is confusing considering he should be in game. Is it actually the cam uh, from right now live, or is it like um, three minutes? I believe it was earlier on, because people were complaining how we were showing the players, like the Fnatic game, we showed the Fnatic players mm. before the game had finished, so you could see them celebrating and cheering, okay. congratulating each other, and it was over. So, unless they've added a late to do it now, it, that was a long time ago. I think it's live, but... Snoopy with that lucky we, yeah, PC. Yeah, we again. have to say, like, Snoopy has the slowest PC from all. We have all the same PC, but his is the slowest somehow. <laughs> I don't know why. Something he's done to it. So I'm really excited to see what the teams will do on the level 1. Yeah, I mean, Fnatic, as you said earlier, they're looking to do something very similar to what they did before. COG do not want it to happen. They know XPK is going to be running those crit runes. They've seen him do it before. They don't want to give him the blue buff. 
So they really need to make a play against this or get a really early gank out in that top lane, which Trundle's not a strong level 2 ganker at all, is he? Yeah, he's a really good ganker, especially for top lane. But then again, like the slow is not so strong on GP because he can just cleanse it with the W, but it's still strong. Fair enough then. That's, that's how much I see Trundle. <laughs> but uh, we will wait and see. So we are in. Wicked's got the concentration face on. And uh, everything should be underway. So Fnatic here in blue down in the uh, bottom left-hand side of the map. Playing against, for the first time today, CLG EU in purple running this top half. Should be a very, very exciting match. Creepo on the uh, beefiest looking Tarek skin in the world. So like, th they will face now on the mid lane. They will see that Fnatic wants to invade. Yep, Frog and spotting that out in mid, getting there nice and early, Creepo. Dropping a ward down, keeping an eye mm -hmm. on things. CLG is like covering all the entrance, entrances, so they don't really want to invade or something. They will just cover their own jungle. See, as we said, XPK just took his own blue last time, mm -hmm. which is what he's presumably going to try and do this time. CLG don't look in any way like they want to stop him doing that. They're just defending their own invade. Wicked poking about... But uh, not too much. Fnatic getting grouped up. Still no one in any kind of danger of getting caught out from this. Mm, they don't get him, I think. No, I mean, even if that snare had gone mm. across the wall, he'd have been fine, unless they blew a load of flashes. But uh, Oh, he got him. <laughs> that snare goes in. I've got no game sounds on this laptop. So uh, let me see a second. Sound. So, oh, it's all there. So... Maybe there's something set up elsewhere. We will get that sorted where we can. But more importantly, Snoopy, a little bit of a back foot. Yeah, and the bot lane of CLG is taking the golems from Fnatic because they knew every one of them was in the top jungle, so they can easily take it. Indeed. So, and Cyanide's going to get the wolves. XPK is heading towards blue, but. Yeah, he won't take is it, it this time. Nope, he's going to give it to Cyanide. Nice oh, this minute. was a strange one. It does seem to be a little bit buggy and temperamental at the moment. Yeah, I was playing Morgana last game as well, and it was really bugged as well, I don't know. I I felt like I hit my snare and it went through him. I don't know why. Yeah, we've seen it a couple of times. Let's see, is he running that crit? Yeah, 14% crit chance, XPK. Yeah, so. maybe that's also a reason why Wicked uh, runs the heal, because he expects that uh, random high damage from GP then, and then he can just heal when XPK will go for him. Yeah, exactly. So, it's odd hearing this with no game sounds, but we'll get it fixed soon. Either way, XPK and Wicked going to be a lane to watch while those uh, crit runes are in play. Melee Sang getting stunned and being half health instantly before he could even get that shield mm -hmm. off. Pete and Creeper, a nice bit of level 1 damage output. Creepo's level 2, in fact, did Creepo take... He took the good big golem. Yeah, he definitely took the big golem for that. I wasn't sure if he took both, but uh, and there's Pete level 2. So, do you think that was intentional? Or do you think it may have just been an accident Maybe that's worked out quite nicely? I think like a team like CLG uh, knows how to... Oh, Medicine, in fact, going very low, forced to so flash so already the health potion ticking. Um, but as you said, a team like CLG, it yeah. sounds like it could have been intentional. Yeah, it's certainly because I think thing. the team like CLG knows how to give the golem to the AD carry, so maybe they want to have a fast level 2 Tarek. I don't know. Yeah. Then again, Snoopy said he's uh, already been on the shots and had about five beers on top of his McDonald's, so <laughs> maybe they're not playing at their peak performance. But Wicked certainly showing Cliff, who's in the other room, playing yeah. how to play against it, P XPK's gangplank. Yeah, it's really... So much damage right now. Complete domination so far. Now, Cyanide, double buff, hiding in this bush with Melisand. Creepo and Pete are looking for this Melisand kill. We've already seen them get quite aggressive, but they've sniffed a rat, and Cyanide's going to recall. Yep. Did they have a ward there? No. Nope, there's no ward at all. They must have either revealed himself a little bit early, or just great game sense out of these two, knowing something's going on. Yep. Meanwhile, we could push the top lane and went back to buy the Ninja Tabby. Yeah, and we've got 24 CS versus 26 in that mid lane, so Froggen having a little bit of fun there. Suche standing off to one side, snares a minion instead of quite landing it on Froggen. It was a nice try. It was a nice try, it was close, and uh, it must have been tiny little hitbox corners here and there, but uh, 
So she wouldn't have done too much other than harass. He's still got three health potions up, whereas Froggen's used two of his. So, uh, slight lead in that lane. Yeah, but it's just because of the spell ramp of Morgana, so she, d she doesn't need to use the health pots. Yeah. So, now Snoopy heading towards top. He is wearing a red buff. PK is poking out a little bit. I think they will wait a bit until it, he pushes a bit more, and then he will burn his flash, for sure. Yeah, exactly. I mean, these minions are going to push. There's no two ways about that. It's PK playing, it's smart the top lane, Snoopy coming out then, Wicked starting up, there's a very nice pillar, Flash goes from XPK, Wicked pulls off immediately, that was all they wanted to go for, and exactly as you predicted, very easy burn of the Flash, and now Wicked can sit here, get up to level 6, and provide an XPK doesn't do anything yeah. crazy. Now like, XPK is now in really serious problems, because Wicked has the creeps pushing to his tower, and he will just freeze the lane, and if uh, PK will go out, found the lane, like, then uh, um, Snoopy will just come and gank this lane again and he will die. So, we did see Cyanide poke his head in his bottom lane again, but Pete and Creepo fought it off quite nicely. They haven't lost too much health. Pete's still sitting here with two of his potions. Creepo's used all of his, but uh, he's still got that heal, of course. Where are you going, PK? He ran halfway to lane, then teleported the rest. I don't understand this one, actually. Yeah, I think he started running, then remembered, hang on, I've got a teleport, why am I running? So but now Snoopy is just coming again, and he will die. Yeah, Snoopy's going in, it's PK. does have that slow up, he does oh. pop those oranges, but the slow reapplies, no red buff on Snoopy. But, uh, again, but, yeah. while he's not dead, he has just gone back and suddenly lost all that health again, so he's I just back in the position he was. Uh, Wicked has the heal, so if he had Ignite, he would maybe die, but, yeah. Um, the, in fact, quite aggressive up into mid. Froggen going very, very low. I'm not going to get these pings out of my ears because of the lack of sound. Mm -hmm. We'll try and yeah. get some tech wizard over here. But so, gold wise, it's like the same. They are all at 7-7. Seven, seven. Really 46 CS to 40 in mid. So, while Suchet is being a little bit more aggressive and doing the damage here to Froggen, he's actually losing out in the long game. Providing he, of course, doesn't pick up a kill on Frog and while he keeps harassing him like this. It's also interesting that uh, Sushi is rushing this AP item. Like, usually you go for two down swing to have some uh, mana regeneration and uh, sustain, but he just rush AP damage. Indeed. Blue buff will be respawning in the next couple of seconds. There it is. Wicked and XPK trading it up top. XPK actually coming out on top this time. There's the summoning from Wicked, oh. and another crit goes out. So, uh, certainly where. This advantage is coming from from XPK. Touche. Heading right across for what's going to be an uncontested blue buff. There's no COG members anywhere close. And just nothing but Ninja Tab by now on both these players in the top lane. Not often you see that, I'm not going to lie. You normally yeah. see them go back and pipe something else alongside it. Uh, they had health potions, but they've been used. But I have to say, like, Peek is doing a really good job at the moment, therefore that he got ganked two times, he's still doing really, really, really nice. And it seems like the crit runes work really, really well for him. Yeah, certainly seems uh, set up for it. Wicked going in, trying to push this lane a little bit harder. Did also just burn his ult again, XPK as low as possible. Those oranges kept XPK going. He has in fact leveled those over everything else. So level 4 W, keeping him a lot of health back, basically negating the summoner heal that Wicked's got. It's about the same kind of numbers if you level it mm -hmm. that quickly. Yeah, but it's not usual that you level up the W from GP. No, it's certainly unusual. I have seen Wicked do it a couple of times. There was a big thing he did it in a tournament. Everyone was like, oh, what's this? Yeah. And uh, suddenly it became popular for a while. But it has its uses here and there. But XPK showing it here. Mm -hmm. Then again, like, uh, XPK is doing a Q and is still doing so much damage with the crit, so he doesn't need to level up the Q, actually, so he just levels up the W. It's like, you don't see this, but it works really good. Like, people should try this. COG, in fact, starting for a very early dragon. It's been warded and pinged by a fanatic. They know something's here, but uh, Frogan oh. draws first blood 1v1 in mid. Absolutely it's really, no really bad for fanatic. They can't even try anything on dragon now, not even a steal, nothing. Yep, and there we go. First dragon they picked up for COG. So COG, first dragon, first blood, and uh, apparently Frogan's bugged out. No, that's not good uh, that he can't move because we are playing on the live server here and you can't pause the game. Yeah, we but mentioned that in the last game. I don't know if you saw it, Slepper DC'd in the last game. No, I didn't see uh, Mouse then went on to 
make the most of it and, uh, and there was some there were some friendly words exchanged towards the end oh. of the game <laughs> because Snoopy like, went on to say himself AL were winning that game they, they were winning the game all the way through it mm -hmm. and still winning it after the uh, the, the DC but if, if it had been for those 10 minutes that he was gone AL would have won that game without a chance but uh, that's discussion for another day yeah, this is different really bad. Froggen can move again he's back to normal these guys are having a laugh in chat. So, COG, 2,000, sorry, 1,000 gold in the lead. Wicked getting bullied by XPK stills. 59 CS game playing to 62 Wukong. Wukong popping oh. his arm. XPK just Pika popping his oranges. Care. Yeah. He Gets does. all the health back. And Wicked's going to recall. So he's carrying two Dorans. He's got uh, about 600 gold left. What's he going to buy? Yeah, just a Vampire Scepter. And then a couple of wards and health potions, of course. Remember, guys, once again, COG, uh, Snoop, oh, sorry, not ganking on the mid. Froggen going very, yeah. very quick, in fact, on that old mid. Didn't even get Cyanide's uh, yeah. fear to proc. Yeah, he was out of range way too fast for that. But uh, all initiated from a nice snare, in fact, from Suchet. Yeah, but then again, it's so hard to kill Ari. Especially when she has three Dorans and the boots level two, you can't really kill her. Yeah, exactly. She's got no flash now. She's got her ultimate. So if you're going to kill her, now's the time to kill her. But uh, as you say, it's still very, very hard. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nocturne is trying to gank bottom now without the ultimate. And in fact, Melissa is going to be the focus from COG. They're going to turn it back onto Scumbag Creepo. Teleport coming in from Creepo. top from XPK. Creepo has decided to sacrifice himself, but uh, Fnatic oh. aren't falling for it. The arrow goes out onto Yellow Pete, and as a result, Creepo is actually going to survive it. XPK goes under the tower, gets stunned, but pops his oranges. And a yeah. uh, little bit of miscommunication yeah, from Fnatic. I would say this too, because like, Pika wanted to go in and nobody followed him, so uh, some kind of miscommunication there. Yeah, I mean, if they'd all gone for Creepo, he'd have died. They didn't. Half of them went for Pete, missed the arrow, and... Therefore, Creepo didn't get the damage he needed, got back into safety in time, flashed past the tower. PK wanted to dive, no one wanted to follow him. Yeah. Pete was surviving this whole time because he was already way out of position. The Fnatic just were not coordinated enough to pick up a kill there. Mm -hmm. But also great play from CLG there, like yeah. four people and they managed to survive every one of them. And the gang's going up, well, sorry, not gang top, the uh, CLG decided they're going to take this tower down because XPK teleported down to the bot lane. Very nice pillar just in front of XPK before he gets here is all it takes to pick that tower up. So, COG, one kill, first blood, one dragon, and they've answered that tower in bottom as well very, very quickly. Blue buff in perfect timing as well. It's going to respawn very, very soon. If more did that up, they're going to meet Cyanide if he's not careful. Wicked will have seen that come through the wall. There we go, Ping's gone straight onto it, he comes straight around the corner. Froggen's here oh. as well, just ran straight past the tower. Suchet back all the way up, terrified of what might be happening. Yeah, Suchet uh, is um, so they can't really contest it, uh, the blue buff. Yeah, no, we didn't see if they actually give it to Froggen or just kill it for the sake of killing it, and they do give it to Froggen. So, going to be a very nice lane for him now. Melisandre's all the way up from bottom, so Lamia's on his own down there against Yellow Pete at the moment. We've seen CLG do this a lot. They like to leave Pete soloing that bottom lane. He seems to do it very well, especially as Cogmore. Yeah. So, uh, well, if you can handle the bot lane, um, then it's really okay. If the support leaves the lane, then uh, the range carry levels a bit faster and the support can help on the other lane, so it's really a nice tactic. So, the... Uh, Push the magic button, we'll see what happens. But uh, we are underway again. Pete and Creepo still just sitting there CSing and farming. Wicked once again jumping that oh, ultimate no, out. But yeah, Big Speak is going in. The really ultimate dangerous. comes out from Cyanide. Needs to get that fear off just before he gets the oh, He does summon it heal and over he goes. Big Speak is going to follow it. He needs to get a couple of lucky crits out. That uh, decoy oh. is going to get him into the bush. XPK stops again. Yeah, no crit now. from that. So well played, Wicked. Get himself out of there alive. Froggen, in fact, however, is going to fall down to the wall. One more oh, to attack really from Suchet. Nice there. Very, very close indeed. Suchet getting his blue buff back. And on the top lane, Pika didn't have uh, enough damage for Wicked because he went for two gold per five items. So he's just going for the late game and doesn't have enough damage to kill him. The Lamia, wow, taking so much damage from that Kogmore and Tarik combo. And COG, nope. Maybe looking for dragon? No. 
No, they're going to recoup. I don't think it's up yet. It's oh. respawning somewhere in the next two minutes, which would, may explain the backing up here. Obviously, Wick is just back to that gank top. Snoopy's going to go back, spend up his gold. And, uh, and they should set up there. They were carrying quite a bit. Snoopy's going to go back and spend that 100 after they try and steal, or 1,000, sorry, after they try and steal this red. Meanwhile, just Pico is just farming and farming top lane, so actually he can be happy that his tower is down, so he can freeze the lane and farm on top lane. And if something is going on, he will just teleport to his team. If it's a dragon in the next minute, however, that teleport is not going to be off cooldown, so we will wait oh, yeah. and see. There is the ping, COG coming in, they've pink warded it, and it's not clear. There's the dragon, and uh, Fnatic have only just finished their shop, so they are quite late to this party. COG going to pick this up more or less for free. Melisand's here. He's going to have to make himself really annoying if he wants to stop it. Arrow comes out onto Wicked's decoy. This was a really, really nice start from Wicked. COG so need to take this down quicker. They uh, don't quite realise how far away Fnatic are. There's the there smite. There's the pickup. And uh, there's no one they can really catch out. Fnatic fell away very nicely. So, second dragon then for COG. Still 2,000 gold in the lead. It's not really snowballing as much as some might expect. Yeah. Do you agree with this snowball meta? Because I'm seeing it less and less at the moment. Mm, I kind of agree because I feel as well if we have like a 4 0 lead and the dragon, I feel so confident actually in the game. Like we need to uh, stay focused and just play our game and we win the game. But again, if one is doing a mistake, then you can turn the game. So it's like you can snowball, but you need to play perfectly till the end. Yeah, that makes sense. Snoopy grabbing his own red buff then as. Uh, I know dropping a ward down around. Two ward pings from uh, COG. They're looking at ward positioning, what they want to do. Baron spawned obviously a minute ago. He's still not going to be looking for that quite so soon. Wicked finally got his lane pushed back up after PK froze it as best he could. He's going to have quite but a still bit of farm Wicked there. has uh, much uh, 10 more CS than PK, although he was all the time on the mid or bot lane. Shows how good Wicked's creep control is. And just keep an eye on that top lane. Of course, he knew where XPK was the whole time. Knew where it was pushing when he had to go back up there. So it was just one wave before the tower. He could pick up as much CS as possible. And now he's going to leave Rome and start doing some more ganking and be annoying. This blue buff is going to respawn somewhere in the next minute. So, CLG obviously stealing that one last time round. At the moment, like, Fnatic should try to get a kill on the bot lane, I think. Because the tower is down, and with Nocturne and the air shower, they could pick one off easily. But meanwhile, Instead, they get... CLG want to go for a kill yeah. on the bot lane. They're going in very, very aggressive. The exhaust goes out. Melisand forced to pop his ultimate. Creepo did almost want to chase that, but Pete was just way too far away. So, again, that combo does so much burst. With the... Uh, E from Cogmore matched with the ultimate from uh, Tarix, all right? Yeah. Melting in people's faces. Oh, this will this will not end very good for Fnatic, I think. Like they want to bait something now, and then Froggen is waiting in the bush for them. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Cyanide coming out. Froggen's down here as well. Froggen's gonna go straight past oh, Tower. Actually, gets stunned. Very nice arrow. Yeah, Pick is coming. Yeah. PK teleporting in. Cyanide does pop that spell shield. Froggen's gonna fall down to the tower. He knows it. Yellow Pete's been chased by Cyanide this whole time. CLG, this is really not going in their favor yeah. at all. Pete will fall down to X. PK just stands on him. And Sushi is coming from top and will get the Tarek as well. Yeah, as there's really, no Tarek really up. Good play it. Misses the snare, in fact, but uh, slow comes out from Melisan. Still have ultimate in any case. Yeah, creep over at full. There's too many slows there. So, three for nothing. Fnatic really played that really, really yeah. well. I didn't expect that at all. Like, I, I thought that they will lose this fight because Froggen has so much damage, but I don't know. He was alone at the tower and they could uh, arrow him and focus him down instantly. Yeah, and, but still, the gold is in favor of COG. They've just been farming so, so well with those dragons. Blue buff is going to be stolen here by Fnatic. The COG one, uh, sorry, the Fnatic one, has it not respawned or did they pick it up on somebody? <laughs> Which you mean? Not respawned. The, yeah, the Fnatic one here. No, it didn't respond yet. Respawned yet. We could push in this top the whole time. Suche does arrive just to turn it around on the spot, however. I would say, like, actually, it looks better for Fnatic because Ash is. Such a good late game uh, carry also with the arrow. And they have 4-1. Still, uh, they are not ahead in the gold, but now they can cont contest the dragons and maybe win the fight there. Yeah, that dragon will respawn very soon, I believe. can't remember the exact time at this time round. But uh, 
COG, I mean, they have just lost three people. They're a bit disheartened. They lost their blue. Do you think the morale is going to be hit too hard, or do you think they still know they're ahead and this is far from over? Mm, I don't think they are ahead or something. It's like uh, the next team fight can um, decide so much. Like every team of, uh, can win this next team fight. So I wouldn't say any team is ahead right now. It all depends on the next team fights. Snoopy picking up that very fast. Age Frog getting caught out. Sushi oh, not he... quite getting baited in, but they are going to dive straight on in under the tower. So much damage comes out. He did pop his ultimate. Four-man gank from CLG. Very nice pickup. They're going to push this mid-tower very, very quickly. Gangplank ult comes out of XPK just trying to get him off, but it's not going to do yep. enough damage. The problem was, like, uh, when Sushi hit the snare, he was, like, feeling so confident to kill Ari there, and then suddenly from bottom there was coming Kogma, Tarek, and from top Ricket, so this was... I would do the same, I think, like Sushi, but it's just bad luck there. Well, I mean, it's just finished his Infinity Edge. That Ash is going to start chunking down people's health. We've seen Lamia quadra-kill in the first game of the day. Pentakill at Hanover in CB in front of those crowds. He can do some amazing things once he picks up those items on Ash. And we'll have to see whether he can uh, pull it out of the bag once more. Yep. Um, when will the Dragon spawn actually? No. I don't know exactly. It should be, it should be in the next minute or two. I mean, COG have all just recalled again to shop, so I suspect it's very, very soon. They have that time it done perfectly. Yeah, they pinked it, so it should be up soon. Frog, and of course, the only one that didn't back his full health. He's gone fast Crystal Scepter instead of either of our predictions. Or uh, no Abyssal Scepter. The Rylus will be really good in the next team fight for CLG. Kogmore just finished his Phantom Dancer, so he's going to start hurting a lot more. But the then again, items. Edge has the Infinity Edge, and I think it's a bit stronger right now when you have the Infinity Edge and the Phantom Dancer. But of course, with the Phantom Dancer, you are more mobile and can run away from other and poke them. Yeah, I mean, you don't need... With this team comp, Ash doesn't need attack speed quite as much because she's got that... Uh, par uh, not parlay, the raise morale from... Uh, yeah. Gangplank. Also the Jenna. That's the Yes, and the Jana uh, old shield gives them more damage as well. So we'll go from that. COG do start the bar uh, dragon. XPK gets caught in a charm, but just orange is out of it. It's all right. I they don't are really need get to this. contest this one. The arrow comes in. Froggen does it. It's stunned. And uh, Sinai goes right in the back. He's going very, very low. However, Suchet's second tick procs onto Snoopy. As uh, Meanwhile, Lamia. Kogma, Kogma will die from. Yep. Kogma yeah. goes down in the back to Morgana. XPK and Snoopy. Sorry, Wicked, Snoopy, and the uh, Kogmore passive sitting there beating into him. Scumbag Creeper flashing over the wall. Frog and picks that kill up onto Ash after a lot of kiting. Creeper was started here, kited all the way around here by Lamia, and then flashed over this wall to get away. But Fnatic do get aced. COG, three, four members, sorry, left up. Only Yellow Peak fell down, and they are going to go and capture. That's not looking good, good at all for Fnatic. Like, they got aced, they lost the dragon, it's... Really, really bad for them. Yeah. I mean, on the plus side, Suji aren't getting any global objectives. If this lane was a bit more pushed, they'd have got a bottom tower out of it. But, yeah. Dragon and Kills is all they have here. Snoopy's going to farm a big wave of minions up top. But this gold count is now up to 5,000. Suji proving they can fight very, very well. Even though Creepo on his own took Lamia and Melisan out of that fight. Yeah, that's no mean feat. And, and he survived after it, so it was really, really great play by all of them. Yeah, with an oracle, so very ballsy play with an oracle and surviving it. So uh, COG looking very, very nice for this next fight. Peak uh, Creepo so carrying four wards, Wicked carrying two. Do you think COG might be looking to force a Baron fight? Mm, I don't think they will do it so fast. Well. Maybe they will do it when they have see the chance to kill two or three people, but right now when everyone from Fnatic is up, they won't do it. Because also Fnatic has uh, good vision there. Okay, their ward, ward just faded right now. And yeah. people will go. Oh, I mean, Creep, look, Creeper's putting these wards up here. He's going to come around and put a second one here. Clear out the Fnatic ones. Maybe they won't start the, the Baron fight, but now they've got all this vision, they can draw Fnatic in. They know they're strong enough to win a fight. They know they can catch people with charms and with stuns. If they can fight this at this Baron very soon, they can win the game on the spot. Yeah, on the one side they have like three Wriggles on Wokong, Kogma and Trundle, so the Baron could go down really fast, but I think they know that uh, Fnatic turned the game on IEM that uh, when Cyanide stole the Baron, so 
they will be kind of careful to do the Nasha when everyone is up or something like this. Yeah, so we'll wait and see. But either way, the wards are being placed in that area. Wicked is pushing bottom. He will undoubtedly pick this tower for free. And that chili suddenly smelt something else again. It's yeah. <laughs> Starbucks like, making odd like noises. Uh, what's the name again? The kitchen? Yeah, kitchen. yeah. The kitchen is so close now to the place here. And we, are, we need to smell all the food now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't eat anything. So XPK just burned his ultimate trying to stop Wicked take that bottom tower. Unfortunately, he didn't quite manage it. So we've got about a minute and a half where that ultimate is on cooldown. COG... Do they want to fight while that's down, or is it not a big enough factor that they can uh, wait? It doesn't matter, and let it respawn and fight somewhere else. Um, I think, like, Fnatic will just... Sh they should just wait at the moment and wait for the moment where they can pick someone off with the arrow and try to focus them down and then force something like a tower or something. They shouldn't really do any initiations, initiations right now when CLG is grouped, so they should just wait until CLG is doing a mistake and then maybe try to turn the game right now. Yeah, so Lamia in mid farming this lane, keeping him out. Froggen actually gets snared from Suchet through the wall blindly, so nicely done by him. Not quite in a position they can initiate, however. 7,000 gold in advantage of CLG. They are just hiding in these bushes, waiting to catch some out of position. Suchet may be that person. He does get charmed, but the uh, snare goes out onto Froggen. Suchet oh, going down really? very, very low. Unlucky on that pillar from Creep, uh, Snoopy. If he was this side of the pillar, that would be a yeah. very, very dead... Morgana. He was like stuck between the trees and the pillar. It was a really, really good pillar from Snoopy. Yeah, very, very quick recoil. He's got to get out, got to get back. Because he knows with these three wriggles, CLG are going to go for this. We're going to start chunking it down, Wicked and Yellow Pete. The rest of them keeping an eye on people. It's actually, they can go for it, but it's still risky. Oh, Minal Frog is going down on Lamia and maybe picks him off. Yeah, yeah Frog's going to pick up that Lamia kills. No two ways about that. The other four are still fighting. Sushet did get back, but he's already low health. And they're chasing down onto Melisand next speaking. Oh. Melisand fouls his flash, but he's going to get out there anyway. Nice snare from Sushet onto Creepo. Sushet, however, still very low. One more auto attack on Pete, and it will pick the kill up with his ultimate. Wicked comes in, pops his off. Cyanide is going to be the next focus. Flashes oh, in onto ultimates in on to Yellow oh, Pete. In fact, well. for that kill, Wicked very low. And uh, XPK flashes in, summon a heal to bait it out. Stun coming out from Creeper. Snoopy's still on the wrong side of the wall. Wicked wants to get now. this kill. Frogner is coming right now from the top lane, so it's really dangerous. He is very, very dangerous. Creepo does not want to take that turret. Wicked even less wants to take it. Snoopy actually spent that last three or four fight on this side of the wall, presumably calling Baron. Don't do this. Baron, get out. Or we need to back recall Baron. We could do something else. And Wicked, Creepo, and uh, Frogan just on this side, just poking, trying to get these yeah. extra kills, two or three. But then again, I didn't understand. Frogan went back to the uh, middle of the top lane to farm somehow when all the CLG team was fighting right there against Fnatic. So maybe Yellow Pete could be, have been saved when uh, Frogan would instantly join them and try to push the tower. Yeah, so. Despite the fact we pointed down, bo down bottom, Fnatic having a couple of errors in communication. CLG do appear to still be having these errors. They're just not quite as catastrophic at the moment. Actually, it's interesting. Look on Ari, like she has the hex dash gunblade. I, like I didn't see this before as well. <laughs> like that's a very good point. Why would you do that? She doesn't need a slow. She's got a crystal scepter. Yeah, it's maybe just just to get down on Ash. When you saw last game, uh, last team fight, he was shooting down Ash before the uh, the team fight started. So he can shut down the Ash really, really fast with this item. But I w I wouldn't say this is a really good item for a full AP carry. Yeah. Well, we say full AP carry. I've said we've seen her AD. Maybe we start seeing her as a hybrid. She's got a lot of life steal from those abilities. She's got some good CC. And, uh, I mean, she also takes quite a lot once you're dancing around in there, thing, is it? Maybe, yeah. well, maybe uh, it yeah. will see. We'll yeah, see Frogging has through. actually a nose house to play, so he has a, a point when he builds this item, so he knows what he wants to do, and we can't really know, know what he wants to do, actually, with this item. I think either we can ask... We'll, uh, we'll try and ask Wicked and Snoopy after the game. They may have some insight. If not, we might be able to manage a uh, Skype interview with Frogging or something later on. I'm sure we can find out... Or, of course, you guys can follow him on Facebook and ask him on there or something like that. There's, there's always some way to figure it out. But either way, CLG are now 8,000 gold in the lead. They are looking to defend for a little bit as Fnatic are pushing up mid as a five-man army. And CLG a little bit spread out. 
Froggen picking up his blue buff. Snoopy recalling in the top lane. They're going to have to sacrifice this tower. There's no two ways about that. That's good for Fnatic. Some more gold for the whole team. And some more vision. <coughs> so actually, Fnatic has the better warding right now at Nasher. Like, CLG has no vision at Nasher. They have no ward there. But they don't expect Fnatic to go for Nasher right now. No, exactly. I mean, they've, they've got a ward here at the blue. And they haven't seen anyone run that way. But, uh, I mean, that doesn't mean too much. Cyanide finally picking up an Aegis of his own. They've mm. seen Lamia in yeah. bottom lane, and CLG instantly turned around to head towards this Baron pen. There's wards all over it. In fact, there is a ward in the back there from CLG. But then again, I think Lamia will be there right in time. Yeah, I mean, as soon as they saw CLG kill this ward, Lamia came across. But if CLG can take these out and hide behind the right wall, they may be able to catch them out. However, there's a very nice CV coming out of Melitan, showing Fnatic quite where CLG are hiding. Morgana Snare misses completely. So, like, I don't know, like, CLG is waiting right now for a mistake so Frog can snare some one of them and pick them out before the team fight starts, but um, Fnatic is doing a good job and doesn't get poked so hard. They just started pushing mid lane. CLG, in fact, took this as a, okay, let's start Baron. Fine. They've got these three wiggles, as you said. They've got true damage coming out of Ari. Yellow Pete doing percentage damage with his health. See, Fnatic a little bit spread out. In fact, Suchet and Sinai on the wrong it? side of the wall. There's the ultimate coming out. Sinai oh, coming he across. He stole it with a very nice smite. And that mark turned over. Snoopy will fall down 1v1 to Sinai. The Morgana ult procs off. XPK it's going in very low. Creeper gets out there even with his oracles ticking. Cyanide picking up another kill. Silji, in fact, still doing very, very well. It's just Lamia and Menace and left to go. And uh, they will chase it out. Lamia will fall down. Tries to pick up Creeper on the uh, back yeah. foot. But, uh, That's so sad, actually, because... They, ter they got the Nasha, like, and then they just focused so much on Tarek, and there's no point on focusing Tarek at all. He's so tanky, and the other carries of CLG just focus Fnatic down. Yeah, I mean, they've done it twice now. That's the second time they focused um, Creepo on that Tarek. And both times he just kited them along, and then flashed away. Yeah. Complete waste. Okay, an Oracle's expensive. You want to kill it if you can, but not in a team fight like that. And they paid for it. CLG are going to get an inhibitor tier. There's no two ways about that. So very well done, Cyanide. Nice Baron still, but yeah. <laughs> team fight didn't quite follow it up. It's it's really sad. I, if I would be now in Fnatic, I would be really sad because they stole the Nasha. They should win the fight and not uh, get four people uh, losing four four people in this fight. <laughs> and it wasn't Yellow Pete that died that time. The last two fights when CLG have come out four kill uh, like four kills, one death. It's been Pete that died every time. This time it was Snoopy. But uh, Oh did he die actually? Yep, yeah, Snoopy he, I mean he was originally half health from Baron. Oh, yeah. He got snared from Morgana and then uh, Morgana and XPK chased him deep into the Baron pen. Wicked, very, very low, will fall down to XPK, not quite backing out as he should. Arrow oh. comes out, Froggen, very nice old getting away from the la the last second. They're still chasing Yellow Pete up into this mid lane. Fnatic do not want to get them away from this. Millicent, the only one with that Baron buff still up. Snoopy's been pushing bot lane this whole time and will now recall. He's got quite a few items. Let's see these gold counts. Snoopy carrying not so much, actually, compared to 2,400 on Yellow Pete and 2,400 on Froggen. Yeah, but then again, like, Snoopy is only... In total, is he's 1k behind the AD carry and he's just a jungler, so he's really he has a really good farm. Nice snare coming out from Suhe through the wall. Not quite the target you want. If that had landed Yellow Pete, this would all be going very differently. But Melisan is going to be slowed and chunked down. Creepo is about doing the same thing. Actually, melee attacking it's PK. Froggen is cool. Froggen's got a Guardian Angel yeah. up now. Like, Froggen has always his own builds. Like, he's doing all his own stuff. He doesn't really care what other APs are doing. He's building his stuff, and it seems to work out for him. Like his is a Nivea. His war mugs into Medjai, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> so, I mean, even Creepo plays a lot of Nivea, and even he disagrees, and they're on the same team. So, yeah, yeah Froggen is a very unique player, but it certainly seems to be working out the way the game goes at the moment. Wicked a little bit behind, so Fnatic falling back after a four-man push from CLG. Wicked is now joining them. Top lane is, of course, on push thanks to those super creeps. Bottom lane's on push thanks to Snoopy. Thanks to PK getting chunked down by a nice taunt from Froggen. The uh, Fnatic going to do their best to keep CLG off this tower, but they are just going to chunk it down. Good stun comes out from Creeper onto Cyanide. He's going to go in onto Yellow Pete. He's gone very, very deep. Creeper is actually a little bit cut off. There's the Shrelius pop. Cyanide will fall down. Morgana goes off. It's been broken for most people. It will pop onto three of them. 
Suchet very, very low. Frogan still, of course, got his GA up. Tarek is again so low and surviving. Yeah, Lamia, Melisan, and XPK, the three members of Fnatic left up. Suji actually going to back off a little bit. And going to Dragon and Blue Buff by the looks of it. Steal the Blue Buff. So much Tarek hate there from Fnatic. <laughs> yeah, they really don't want it to go. And that Nexus turret down to half health just thanks to Super Creeps. CLG using this then for complete map control rather than pushing mid. Pete will pick that tower up easily with the help of those creeps. One blue buff down. Froggen's going to grab the other one. Dragon is up. They've seen it with the... Or oh, Fnatic have seen it with the CV. Now CLG will go across and pick it up. Yep. They are just snowballing on the globals and the towers and will slowly win the game unless Fnatic can turn somehow maybe with a quad kill from Lamia. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Lamia the way he's playing recently. But 10,000 gold then in advantage of CLG. Fnatic in no position to leave their base right now. Lamia about as far around as they could possibly go. suspect CLG will come up. Actually, this lane. loses, like, Fnatic can be out after this lose because they are 1-1 one, one now and they will be 1-2 if they lose right now. So it's really hard for them, like, losing this game now. Indeed, I'd say I didn't quite know the the group results as it was, but that explains it. So, Fnatic not going to give up anytime soon. I mean, it's still possible to come around from this. They can yeah. execute a perfect team fight. 35 minutes death time is going to be long. They can push straight down a lane. They can inhibit her out, give themselves all this map control, and then uh, get ready for that next Baron pickup, and then uh, win the game on there. But, it teams looks like, like CLG aren't going to screw up in that yeah. kind of way. CLG just want to finish the game very, very soon, because we could just buy two giant belts. He doesn't finish one item. He just wants some HP now to finish the game as soon as possible. <laughs> and uh, two giant belts is a lot of HP, that's for sure. And I just noticed his build as well. Bloodthirster and Last Whisper. So, so much damage coming with him. Here's CLG in this bot lane, as I said. And uh, Froggen actually getting snared. So they're going to go into him. Ash arrow goes out. Nice omen from Morgana. Froggen still surviving, even without no, proccing that Guardian no. Angel. There it goes, thanks to the ult from GP. Cyanide will fall down. Now uh, XPK is right in amongst Tarek. that CLG. Tarek, <laughs> Creepo, just, just complete battle. Tarek might actually lose his oracles here. Does heal himself and Lamia falls Tarek down. Die. Never. <laughs> what is going on? This Tarek, scumbag Creepo. He will never die. Completely changing the way to play that support. There's an extra Tarek falling to Super Creeps. CLG is completely ignoring this but uh, bottom one, but the inhibitors respond. I don't know. Like, Fnatic should realize that. Ter uh, Creeper always survives with some HP and they just always focus on him somehow. The thing that I see there, Rick, Melisan and Lamia were kiting. They were kiting backwards away from it. XPK was in amongst everything. Suchet was in amongst everything. Cyanide obviously ulted in at the back. Fnatic and Melisan were still just trying to take them and drag them back. They were fighting.